dip our floral block right into this water, soak it, get it filled nicely with water, just like this. I know this looks a little strange, but trust me, the end product is gonna be so fun. Okay, go ahead and lift that out. It should, could be a little bit heavy, so use both hands. Oh yeah, beautiful. Okay, now I'm gonna grab some plastic wrap, take it out of the carton, and we're gonna wrap this block fully in plastic wrap to our best of our ability, just like this. Ooh, what are we making today? You will see. This is gonna be so great for Mother's Day, for a bridal shower, birthday. It's gonna be a real big hit. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and make sure that plastic wrap is fully covering our floral block. Beautiful. Okay, now for the fun part. Go ahead and grab whatever flowers you prefer. And we're gonna go ahead and cut this just like at an angle, just like this. These little blooms, we don't need them to be super long and you will see why. Grab your cute little roses and we are gonna stuff these right into that floral block just like this. We want them to be different heights because that will add great dimension. Put them on the sides. Oh, okay. This is like defying gravity. Yeah. Okay, so I think we got a good amount of pink roses in there. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab these beautiful flowers. I have no idea what they're called, but they are gorgeous. Oh, I'm so curious what those are called. And they're so cool. Snug them in right there. Just like this, this is looking gorgeous, you guys. Okay, time for the next floral. I'm using some eucalyptus. Probably pick off these last leaves so we have a good base to stick right in. Gorgeous. Let's fill her up. All right, we've got our eucalyptus there. Now let's grab some more pink because this definitely needs some more color and just Continue with the process. All right, now I think it needs a little bit more white, so I have these white roses. I'm just doing the same process. You guys can choose whatever flowers you like, and we're just gonna pop that right in there. Should go in just easy. This is really coming together quickly. Whoa. The best advice I can give you is just get a bunch of different type of flowers. This is coming together. We have a few more things coming. Let's do this. Okay, this is really coming together, you guys. We just have a few spots that really need to be filled and then our gift is ready. Okay, I have these little fun guys. Mm -hmm. And remember, you can use whatever flowers you like. I got all of these super cheap from Trader Joe's. They have the best flowers. Are those baby's breath? No, they're not. I actually what? don't know the name of these. They look like baby's breath. And we are just gonna put these right here. And look how fun that is. Oh, really fills yeah. up those empty spots. Yeah. Okay, this is coming really well together. Last but not least, let's add a little bit of greenery because greenery fixes everything. Oop. Just like this. And we're gonna put it right in there. Ooh, okay, just like that. Beautiful. All right, you guys, our beautiful wine centerpiece is complete. So quick, so easy, and just perfect for any celebration. Let's go ahead and wrap this up for my mom. All right, grab some tissue. We're gonna spread this out just a little bit so we can fully cover up the wine bottle, just like this. All right, this is looking so cute, you guys. Grab some ribbon and quickly tie up a beautiful bow, close up that tissue, 
Okay, so. Okay, you guys. This is complete, so easy, the easiest craft. Just look at all those beautiful flowers and you would never know there's a wine bottle.